Men have read it who proposed and she said no. What happened afterwards with your life? My mum actually said no to my dad's proposal when they were younger. Not because they weren't in love, but because she wasn't sure if it was something she actually wanted to do. Rather than something that society expected of her or whatever. They still stayed together and had kids. Hence why you're reading this now. And then when my dad was terminally ill a few years ago my mum plucked up the courage and asked him. Just to get her back after all those years he said no before taking her up on the offer a few days later. He died a happy man. Oh I have a story about this, my friend A had been with his girlfriend B for years. So he decided he wanted to propose. What he didn't know, is that B was also thinking about proposing to him. A proposed first, and B freaked out because she had already set her proposal and bought a ring, so she said no. Over the next week, B freaked out more and more, and refused to answer A's calls and messages. A then decided to use the money he had saved up to buy a plane ticket to Europe. What was supposed to be a three-month trip through Western Europe turned out to be a year-long trip around the world. One day, A says that he's coming back and B decides to go and wait for him at the airport and propose to him there. It turns out that while being in Peru, A met a girl and they fell in love almost immediately. And got married in Peru. Q five years later, A and his Peruvian wife are still happily married and recently had a baby. While B hasn't still quite forgiven herself for ruining her relationship with A. She had cancer. I said we should get married because I had full medical coverage for my work. She said no. And over time we grew apart. Haven't talked to her in 15 years. Don't know if she died. We met in her home country of Germany while I was traveling. I knew I was in love. We dated long distance for a while. Me flying to Europe, her flying to the US. I suggested marriage so we could be together. She said no a few times. I didn't press. But I was patient and not being pushy. I knew she was worth the wait. Then it hit her that's how we could be together. If we got married, we could live in a country together. The difficulties of being born on a different patch of dirt. A few years later, I'm still married to my best friend and living with her in Germany. Not all knows stay no. Life goes on. We lived together for another six years until she changed her mind and told me that I should ask again. We were engaged for over a year and got married in 1991. We are still married, have three children, and are both still very much in love. My dad proposed to a woman who said no. My dad was a violent alcoholic and she said she couldn't be with him unless he got clean. Took him a little while. But he did it. He wound up meeting my mom through a matchmaker and they've been married 25 years. If that woman never said no to him, he never would have gotten clean. It was the lowest point in his life. But it all brought him to my mom who makes him happier than ever. My dad talks to her sometimes. She got married to someone else and they had a son who died from a medical condition. Dated a woman for over two years and popped the question. First time she said, I don't know. A couple months later I asked her again. She said, maybe, I was pretty bent out of shape. But then I found out she was sleeping with several of my friends so I dodged a bullet there really. My husband asked three times in the span of a couple months. We had dated for three years. He was ready. I wanted to graduate college first. Also, don't propose by handing your so a ring while you're both in the car on the way to Burger King. I'm low maintenance, but put some thought into it. So this actor, Patrick Moot, proposes to his girlfriend at a basketball game and gets turned down, while on the giant jumbotron. Clip goes on YouTube, etc, etc. She tells him later that she turned him down because she thinks his dick is too small. So he travels around the world, documenting what other cultures think about penis size and penis enlargement and made a movie about it called Unhung Hero. I've never watched it, but the title alone makes me laugh. We received a letter from the immigration office saying that she was lacking some documents. At the moment we were stressed both of us with work and study and none of us were sufficiently fluent in German to decipher this kind of language. We went to the university office for foreign students. The lady in charge translated to us the letter badly, telling us that even presenting the documents, they would proceed with the deportation process. We panicked. Looking for some more help we ended in the city hall. With the adrenaline rush I proposed to her in quite a loud voice. If we get married, could we stop the deportation? I asked to the poor poor guy in the information office. I can't remember if he gave us an answer. I want to marry her, will you marry me? She started laughing. I started laughing. The guy in the office gave us the telephone to the pertinent department and asked us to call. We went out of the city hall and we couldn't stop laughing. She said to me. Well, thank you. 
But let's wait a bit. After the weekend we went to immigration office and the people there explained which documents were missing, how to get them. She wasn't denied the visa and we kept living in the way we planned. It was intense and, in retrospective, really funny. Addendum. We are not married, and never planned, but we live together. She got a job that provides her with a visa. Soon she will present herself to citizenship exam. I spoke to her about it beforehand, and she seemed really keen on the idea. So I decided to propose about a week after in front of all our friends she was so shocked she picked me up off my knee and shooed me away. Most of our friends were confused, because everyone knew it was going to happen, and she said she was excited for it. I didn't know what to do. It was all really embarrassing and later she explained she didn't mean no she just didn't know what to say and was scared. She said yes after apologizing profusely and just this year we celebrated our 9th anniversary. Edit. I'm happy that this comment blew up. But I feel like the next time I tell someone it is an icebreaker they're going to say. I read this on Reddit. I asked her right out of high school. But she wasn't ready. We stayed together. Went to college at the same school. Spent the first year in separate dorms. Then moved in together. Got married a few years later. Our 20th is coming up. This is the story of my parents. My dad asked my mom to marry him several times. She said no. Several times. One day my dad asked my mom to marry him. Yet again. She said yes. He freaked out and left her apartment and dumped her. Three weeks later he hated his life without her and begged her to take him back and marry him. They were married nine months later for 16 years until my mom passed from cancer. They loved each other so much and had such a deep appreciation for each other. That was 25 years ago. My dad has not remarried. No one will ever come close to my mama. My mom told my dad no when he proposed to her even though they were already living together. She thought he was impotent and it wasn't until she got pregnant that she said yes. In retrospect, I wish my parents had decided early in their relationship that they can barely stand each other. In 2017, Google came up with this idea to allow you to make photo books out of your Google Photos account. My girlfriend and I had been dating for almost two years and I knew she was the one I wanted to marry. So I created this wonderful photo book of all of our selfies together and ended it with a page made out of a photo I generated that said will you marry me. I then proceeded to put all these things into an album and build the photo book. What didn't occur to me at the time was that the album I put these in was a shared album and the other person gets a notification when you add new photos to it. And the other person that the album was shared with? My girlfriend. That evening. We had dinner and it all came out. She saw the photo. She wasn't ready. There were a few reasons why but they were good reasons and smart reasons mostly to do with timing. Family. And finances. We weren't breaking up. We just weren't getting engaged at that time. A year later. We have fully discussed the concept of getting married. We went ring shopping. She picked her own ring. And by the time I actually did propose we both knew what her answer would be. We celebrated our first wedding anniversary in April. It seems to have worked out so far. And the photo book is on a shelf to my left as we speak. She said yes on the second proposal and now we're divorced. Edit. Reddit is such a weird place. All the carefully thought out posts and comments get zero recognition and then this random off the cuff remark is my most liked comment. Glad you all got a kick out of it. For those wondering, I've been single for a year. I spent last night with a smart, beautiful woman and had a blast. Life is good. I was a young marine. I was only home during the weekends. Was dating this girl for about a year from my hometown. When I asked she said yes, her dad former Navy kept saying we should wait. We put it off for a bit longer. Fast forward another year. She dumped me. Father informs me she has been sleeping with a lot of guys, like more than 50 over the two years we dated, and was very happy I didn't marry her, and apologizes to me for her behavior. She then totally ghosting everyone including her family for about six months. Find out she moved seven hours away and was living under a house. Not a basement. Under a house with her new BF. She calls her mom to come get her. Mother and father ask me to go get her and bring her home. Good times. Good times. We actually got married. Moved in together. Two weeks later. She moves out. Blocks me everywhere and never gave me a reason. Shortly after I was served with papers. Now I'm divorced. That was last summer and not sure where I am now. Making work my main priority for now. I just want to know why for some closure. But that's too far gone now. We'd been dating for a year and a half. And I was due to move out on orders. Was in the army. She suggests we get married. I said no way. I was going off to school. Army type. 
for six months, then a year on a deployment to the Middle East. It just wouldn't work, she was calm, and then said. You think I'll be a burden to all of that, but I'll actually be a help. While just seconds earlier all I could think of was what a pain in the ass it would be to get married and leave. And now it, for whatever reason, seemed perfectly reasonable that she was right. We got married a week later at the courthouse, I was 22. Last month we had a nice socially distant dinner party for our 29th anniversary with our two amazing kids and a few friends.